virtual. This can also be thought of as you when you are having your conversations with your customer. Above the surface, what you say, how you say it, um, what kind of knowledge you provide for them, what kind of behavior you are showing, that is basically what we call the tip of the iceberg. So here's basically what it is. What people see is 10% of you. Would you agree? That when, you, when customer calls you and you're saying, thank you for calling Quantum, I am so and so. You know, some of you are saying Quantum. <laughs> we will also talk about that. But when you are doing that, at that moment, the customer can only hear your voice. And not only voice, they also can hear your words, your dialogue, the way you greeted them, the way you did all of that. So all of that is basically what you want the world to see. Would you agree? And that is 10%, your skills, knowledge, behavior, performance, and results. Because you know your customers will make up their mind. They will decide about you. They will decide about you just by the way you talk to them. You know. So that is something that people don't see. 90% of you is not known to others. People don't see it. Like just this 10% of the behavior, the customer will actually make up their mind about your attitude, your values, your judgments, you know, your, your, your beliefs, all of those things just from the way you talk and what you say. So 10% is the tip of the iceberg, that's what they see. But once they see it, once they see your behavior, your voice, your, your uh, dialogue, they will then decide you have basically exposed your insight by behaving in a certain way. That's that attitude we're talking about. All right. Now, having said that, if attitude is the key, then doesn't it make sense to try to figure out how to feel a little bit differently inside so that our behavior changes? Isn't it? That's the only thing. If I can, if I can feel differently inside, then my behavior will be different. Can I ask you this question? We have been talking since about 9:15, isn't it? So we started at 9:15. So last 45 minutes, in your opinion, from my behavior, the 10% of me that you saw, do you feel that I want to conduct training today? It feels like it, isn't it? Can you tell me why? Sorry? My attitude. What about my? Because see, attitude is something that you, you uh, they call it deduce. Uh, that you finally decided good attitude or attitude love. But there is some behavior you must describe that makes you feel like this trainer is, uh, is enjoying conducting training and, 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 and if you can if you can figure out that yes I want to conduct training that means the 10% I'm showing you is working that makes sense so that's the kind of conversion or, or transformation we're talking about here you know it's the same thing with here uh, if you say uh, ring ring uh, Quantum, you respond like that, if you reply to the phone like that, customer will think of a few things. This person too lazy to tell me the name, too lazy to say good morning or good afternoon. This person does not feel like I am a valuable customer. So many different thoughts will go on in their mind just because of your 10% that says Quantum. The salespeople, it takes a lot, you know, to, to sell and close a deal and have someone as a customer. So we have to treat them right. You know. It's just like, you know, a, a mother, you know, she, she carries the baby inside her for nine months and a few days. Right? And then when the baby is born, she takes care of it. Because 
she went through hell <laughs> you know uh, conceiving and you know preparing this this life for the world so then she takes care of that thing it's the same thing here you know the sales people are closing deals so when once the deals are closed we need to take care of those customers so we cannot say you know quantum shipping number oh uh, your back will be there la do uh, do hari lagi thank you anything else ah, okay thank you it's like the customer disturbing me you know and and i have seen this not only you know uh, of course i haven't even gone into your calls and uh, your your branches or anything but i do see this everywhere i will not name names of any companies everyone is guilty <laughs> and the customer said okay this person will probably help me and then they start trusting you they start relying on you you know they start feeling assured then okay i think this is a good call i think i can uh, get my answers from